Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'll say right off the bat, I think uh, one of my biggest things when I started making YouTube videos probably about two or three years ago now, um, I wanted to start making them kind of for the wrong reasons. Not really the wrong reasons, but I, I was more so trying to do it to mainly just do something for money, to eventually get somewhere to make money, but you quickly realize that it's... You know it's a decent idea I guess but also you know if you're not having fun doing something then it's kind of pointless right you're going you know, to waste all this time and not really enjoy doing it so it, it ends up not really being that great so um, it just kind of took a while to try to find my way back here and try to figure out what I wanted to do uh, figure out what I want to do with content creation so I would still like to keep on my normal track with fitness related stuff um, and fitness stuff has been pretty hard lately just with, uh, I guess, bottom, you know, just injuries. I, I had a pretty bad bicep strain on my right side and it's just, it's very small now. Like, it's, it's weird. It's a weird, weird one. And then, uh, very recently my low back has been, been killing me. I got a weird strain down there too, but it should be, should be good in a couple weeks, hopefully. Um, but, um, it's, it's realizing, you know, not getting any younger, uh, I need to, adjust uh, my working out to fit what my body is able to do now you know still push myself of course and really try to do new things but I need to be careful um, I don't want any lifelong injuries uh, prohibiting me from doing things going out and doing what I want to do so uh, I, it's just adjusting and figuring that out uh, so one of the things I want to talk about today uh, is grip strength um, for those of you who know me, uh, I am big on grip strength. I think it's very important, um, along with you know many other things, but I think one of the biggest things that people don't focus on for uh, like focus training is their grip strength. And you need that for a lot with you know deadlifting, you know comfortably picking up and moving weights, like you need good grip strength and it's I, I would say it's pretty important to have. Uh, so one big thing or product, I guess, uh, one product I want to talk about is these, uh, I don't have the box with me, but basically these things, um, I bought a fairly cheap set on Amazon. It came with five, five of these. Um, it's very similar to like, uh, like the Grip Genie stuff or Gods of Strength, which I think supporting those ones would be probably smarter although a little pricier this was like a $25 set which worked perfectly for what I wanted to spend um you know if I had a little extra money to spend around I, I would definitely try to support um, local business you know at least in the states but it is what it is um I think this is a pretty high quality set it comes with like I said five grip things it goes from 50 pounds up to 300 um I, I think it's it's a pretty sick deal uh, I keep the 100 pound one up right in the living room. So when I'm, if I'm sitting watching something, I'll just sit here, play around with it and get some sets in. Um, it's one of those things I think you, you can definitely overtrain your grip, uh, overtrain your grip, uh, you know, your forearms and stuff. Just, uh, just be careful and don't overdo it, but definitely try to incorporate it in some way. So I would definitely recommend picking these up. Uh, something along these lines, you know, it can be one of those adjustable ones. I, I don't really like the plastic rubbery ones that have like the curved handle. They just feel weird. I do have one of those in my car that's kind of like my stress toy while I'm driving, but it's not the greatest. Also, if you want to have any fun, I, I, or I recommend picking up one of these things. I, I don't remember how much I paid for this one, but uh, basically it is a, it's a grip strength uh, tester. It tells you... Uh, you pick your age, uh, male or female, and then you just squeeze it, and then the the number pops up, and it gives you a window, not a window, but like a bracket. Uh, it says weak, normal, or strong. Um, I can't say my grip is good right now. Like I said, with just injuries and stuff, but I have maxed this out before, and it maxed out at 200, or 198, uh, which is 90 kilograms. For those who use that but a fun thing to have it's good when you have friends over or something you guys just want to fuck around just mess with something I, th I think this is a pretty cool toy toy uh, that's really all I got uh, I just wanted to you know make a video and kind of just express how life is going 
Uh, it's 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 difficult, you know, getting older. I'm not old by any means. I'm only 28. I hopefully still got plenty of years left, but it's it's just really figuring out what works for my body now and going forward. What's going to be the smartest for for me? Um, when I was younger, obviously a lot more durable being younger and injuries didn't really affect you as much. But now I'm getting older. It's just uh, it, it, it's catching up and I, I just need to be smart about um, how I go about this going forward. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, word of advice. Do what you want to do. Okay, don't let other people dictate how you feel or what you want to do in life. Just go out there and try some new shit. It doesn't fucking matter. Life is damn short. Um, if you want to make some silly little YouTube videos and be immortalized for life, uh, come on, that's a great... Come on, come on. Come on. Go, just do what you want. All right, go try new shit. Don't be afraid. Okay, be afraid, but do it anyway. Thank you to my high school English teacher for that phrase. But uh, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.